Hi and welcome to this Illustrator in 60 seconds video in which we're going to talk about clipping masks, more exactly what they are and how to use them. According to Adobe, a clipping mask is an object whose shape masks other artworks so that only areas that lie within the shape are visible. For me personally, the clipping mask can possess a more elegant solution to Pathfinder shape modes since you can edit and reposition its contents without the need of formally modifying the shape of your object. Now, the way they work is actually really simple. You start out by deciding what it is that you want to partially hide from the rest of your artwork. Usually, when creating complex illustrations, this can be a texture, a visual effect or even a certain object. Next, you create a top level object, in other words, a mask, by using either the pen tool or the default shapes that Illustrator comes prepacked with, making sure to overlap the areas that you want to remain visible. Finally, once you have the mask in position, you simply select both it and your artwork and then you right click and hit the make clipping mask option. There's no limit to the number of items that you can put inside of a clipping mask, the only thing to keep in mind is that you can only use vector objects as masks, but other than that you can mask anything from vectors to raster images.